Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about myself and about what I'll be discussing in my videos. And this is my first ever video being uploaded, so I hope you enjoy. And without further ado, let's get into it. So a little bit about me. My name is Natalie. I am 20 years old. I'm a teen mom. I have two beautiful girls. One is two and one is actually three weeks today. Um, I am engaged. I have a wonderful fiance um, and I love Jesus. I am all about Jesus. Um, I actually began my journey with him in 2021. Well, that's when it got serious and I started to reconnect. Um, of course, I always grew up knowing and hearing about him, but it wasn't until I had gotten older that I actually um, found him. And since then, life has been amazing. And I have since then grown out of my baby Christian phase and I feel more comfortable to openly and freely speak about him. And I'm hoping that my channel will help other women and not just women, men as well, to grow in their relationship with him, to grow in your word, to understand, to live a godly life and not be slaves to the world anymore. I'm going to be using my channel mostly for Bible studies. Um, I'll post weekly Bible study videos and I'm hoping that this will encourage you to get into your word because really before you start a relationship, it's important to know who you're starting a relationship with, why, um, what he's done, um, why the world is the way it is. And with that being said, I'm going to share a couple of tips that I used when I first started and some other tips that I've picked up along the way that I feel like will actually help people that are wanting to begin their journey. I have two Bibles that I use. I have a King James Version Bible and I also have the Christian Standard Version Bible. Um, sometimes reading the King James Version, it gets kind of confusing because of the way it's worded. So I would recommend if you're just starting out to really use um, an NIV or a Christian Standard Version just so it's easier to understand what you're reading. Um, if not, I would recommend to get a Bible dictionary just because that kind of comes in to help as far as understanding what each word means. I feel like it's super duper important for you to be able to understand what you're reading because just like when you're studying for like a math quiz, if it's hard and you're not understanding, you are more likely to give up. Um, and really it's important to push through because it is so rewarding to understand what you're reading. It will literally feed your spirit. Tip number two that I recommend is the soap method. That's what I use. It it helps so much. It's a very good way to break down and to remember what you've read. Tip number three is prayer. Prayer is so powerful. I recommend that you pray before opening your word. Pray that you have an open mind and open heart. Pray for understanding that you'll understand what you're reading and you're able to apply it to your life. Pray that any distractions that will keep you from concentrating and being in your word be removed. And I promise you, you definitely see the results. Tip number four would be to start off in the New Testament. If you're just starting and you're a baby Christian, the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, it's going to tell you about who Jesus is, Jesus' life, um, and, and his sacrifice. That's how you're going to get into building your relationship with God. And having a relationship with God is going to help you furthermore in the old testament um the old te the whole bible is actually really important but i feel like the new testament is really where you should be at starting off because it just makes it so much easier to understand and to start your journey tip number five would be to set the mood set the vibe when you're getting into bible studying light a candle um play some godly music um it's really hard to cut out secular music especially when you're first starting off i struggle with it but listening to godly music while you're reading your bible definitely will set the mood it definitely helps um it's peaceful um it's not any worldly nonsense in your ear while you're trying to read god's word and if you don't know any songs, I have a playlist that is fire and it will definitely have your heart on fire for God. So listen to godly music while reading the word. That is all for my Bible studying tips. 
I will be starting in Matthew. So if you are a new Christian and you are looking to start your journey with God, or if you're just looking to learn the word and to understand it, I will be breaking it down and I will be starting in the New Testament in Matthew. So I definitely recommend to subscribe and follow along for the journey. And I'm just really excited to see where this takes us because this is me stepping out of my comfort zone to see how many lives we can change, how many people this will reach, how many ears will listen to the good news, to the gospel. So definitely follow along with this journey.